understood uh, unit number 4 also so in this way we have completed uh, our uh, five units and from next lecture we'll be starting with our uh, sixth and last unit in which only two uh, motors we have to study one is the uh, two both the special motors one is the stepper motor and another is the brushless dc motor and third main part in sixth unit is your electric vehicles so what are the different uh, components used in uh, electrical vehicles so that will be your uh, last practical also okay so last assignment of practical you have to do on uh, the electric uh, vehicles so i hope you are you are uh, writing your uh, practicals also you have to bring them physically and you have to get it checked from me uh, in the college hours okay so i'll let you know the date for that but uh, before that you try to finish it off okay so let us uh, um, find out what are the probable questions from this uh, fourth unit so first question may be draw and explain the construction of dc machine in detail so for uh, drawing and explaining the construction of dc machine you have to draw the cross sectional uh, view of that typical dc machine showing uh, the pole structure and uh, armature structure and on poles uh, which are the salient poles uh, field winding you have to show then uh, in armature slots you have to show the armature winding then you have to write uh, all the different parts and uh, explain uh, like uh, what is pole what is the pole shoe then what is field winding what is its resistance what is the armature what is the means how is the structure to then slot then how armature windings are made what are the two types of uh, armature winding that you have to explain and then Uh, you have to explain the commutator, uh, which converts AC into DC. Then the brushes and uh, the spring arrangements for brushes. So all these uh, then shaft you can uh, explain. Uh, so till this will be the construction for a DC machine. So DC machine. Uh, you know you can be uh, you can use it as a dc motor as well as dc generator so next question may be explain the working principle of dc machine as a generator so in this uh, generator first uh, you have to explain uh, what is the magnitude of uh, emf developed then how this emf is developed Uh, what is the principle of uh, fleming's right hand rule which is used in uh, um, principle of uh, generator and then how e is equal to b l v sin of theta then uh, what are the different angles between them uh, if um, planes they are having angle theta then what will be e e is equal to v sin of theta if uh, both the planes that is uh, flux and v axis they are uh, perpendicular to each other then maximum emf will be developed and if they are parallel to each other then e will be zero so this much you have to explain uh, with uh, proper diagrams so that will be the principle of uh, dc machine which is expected the next question may be asked as derive the emf equation of dc generator so first you have to uh, write what is the e or uh, the rate of cutting flux that is d phi by dt then um, you have to derive that equation e is equal to phi p n z upon 60 a where phi is the flux p number of poles m is the speed then uh, z number of conductors 
60 is a constant and A is the uh, armature uh, conductor you can say and uh, A is equal to P for lap winding and A is equal to 2 for wave winding. Then there may be numericals based on this EMF equation, torque equation and all the equations which we have derived. So based on the then voltage equation and all. Okay, so based on that numerical will be definitely asked and along with numerical one theory question will be there. Okay, so explain the working principle of DC machine as a motor. So if you want to explain this uh, DC machine as a motor, then you have to first uh, find out or draw the uh, diagrams of uh, both the uh, magnetic flux or main flux due to the field winding and the flux produced due to the current carrying conductor and how they interact with each other, how addition and uh, subtraction of uh, um, these magnetic fluxes takes place on left hand side and right hand side and uh, how it generates a mechanical force and how a torque is developed. So that you have to explain, then you have to explain that F is equal to B I L into sine of theta. So that is the force on that particular uh, conductor. Then you have to explain the Fleming's left hand rule, which is uh, used in um, the DC machine as a motor. Okay. Then next question may be derive the torque equation of DC motor. So you have to explain uh, how that uh, torque uh, we are uh, finding and uh, that is T is equal to uh, torque into omega and then from that you substituting the values uh, Ta is equal to 1 upon 2 pi phi into Ia into T0 upon A or that is same as 0 0.1509 phi into Ia into P into Z upon A, where P number of poles, Z number of conductors, A uh, number of armature conductors and A is equal to P or A is equal to 2 for lap or wave winding and uh, 0.159 is constant. So Ta is directly proportional, you can say it is directly proportional to phi into Ia, right? So this much uh, you have to draw, uh, derive for that. Then it may be asked as uh, explain various types of DC motors. So uh, that we have already seen that uh, you have to write what is the uh, DC shunt motor, DC series motor and DC compound motor. And in compound motor, it may be a long shunt motor or it may be a short shunt motor. Then in this, this question, you have to draw the equivalent circuit of that DC shunt motor, series motor and compound motor along with the typical equations. Uh, equations may be for the um, IL and the relation between IL and IAC IA or ISH IA. Whether uh, it is uh, um, IL is equal to IA plus ISH or uh, IL is equal to IA is equal to IAC that and ISH will be always uh, V upon RSH. Okay, then for shunt as well as for uh, compound for long shunt and short shunt, you have to draw the diagrams and you have to show the things. Then based on these types, there may be numericals. Okay, then which are the various characteristics of DC motor? draw and explain these characteristics for DC shunt motor. So we have to explain first uh, what are the three basic characteristics uh, used for uh, DC motor. So in order to judge the performance of DC motor, we are uh, drawing three characteristics. One is the torque armature current characteristics, that is T versus IA. Then second is the speed versus armature current characteristics that is M versus IA and third one is the speed versus torque characteristics.
So if first two um, you will be able to draw, that is torque versus IA and speed versus IA, then you have to skip that IA and you have to uh, draw the relation between torque and speed. So that will be the third characteristic, speed and torque characteristics. Now the first characteristic T versus IA, it is referred as the electrical characteristics. Then second characteristics, uh, which is M versus IA, is referred as the speed load characteristics. And third characteristics, that is speed versus torque characteristics, it is referred as the mechanical characteristics. So these you have to explain during this part, which are the various characteristics. And then you have to uh, follow by that. Uh, so this question may be seven, eight, and nine. First part will be same for all these three. And second part is draw and explain the characteristics for DC shunt motor, DC series motor, or DC compound motor. So this you have to uh, draw the characteristics for DC shunt motor, series motor, and uh, then for uh, compound motor. So for uh, shunt motor, uh, the to uh, torque versus IA characteristics, it is a linear or straight line graph. Then speed versus armature current characteristics, it is almost constant having some small drop because the value of RA is small, so that drop is very small. And uh, similar is the third characteristic, speed torque characteristics, which is almost a constant value. Okay. Then for DC series motor, if you will draw the first characteristics for DC series motor, that is torque versus IA, then you will find that it is a uh, parabolic in nature, right? So um, that is the parabola um, nature. And uh, then um, TA as well as TSH you can draw. And then uh, the second characteristic speed versus IA, that is the rectangular hyperbola. And uh, similar is the third characteristic, speed torque characteristic, which is also a rectangular hyperbola. And then the same characteristics, you can draw it for DC compound motor. And in compound motor, it may be a cumulative or differentiative. And for both these, you have to draw all the three characteristics. Then the next question may be, state and explain various applications of various DC motors. So based on their characteristics, that is shunt motor is having almost uh, constant speed and it's having medium uh, starting torque. So that's why the applications uh, like having the constant speed like uh, lathe machine, machine tool, milling machine, drilling machine and so on. Then series motor, it is having high starting torque and and the speed is having a variable speed and no load condition is not allowed in that. So that's why it is used for the applications like cranes, highest elevators, trolleys, conveyors, electric locomotives and etc. And cumulative in which differentiate, cumulative and differential compound. So in compound two types, but differential compound, uh, its speed increases as load increases. So that's why it is not having any uh, suitable application. Uh, but the cumulative compound motor, it is having high starting torque as well as the no load condition is allowed in that. And that's why it is uh, used same as that of series motor. But wherever series motor is having certain limitations in that application, this cumulative compound motors can be used. That is. Uh, rolling mills, punches, shears, heavy planners, heavy elevators, and so on and so forth. Okay. Then state and explain various methods of speed control. So what are the various methods of uh, speed control that you have to write? So as uh, uh, speed is proportional to uh, V or EB, and it is inversely proportional to phi. So by controlling the armature voltage, you can change the speed of DC motor from zero to rated value. And by flux weakening method, as phi is, uh, means uh, speed is inversely proportional to phi, then 
uh, as you are weakening the field current, I S H. If you are reducing, then the uh, speed will be uh, uh, speed you can control beyond the rated value. So that means in this uh, speed control, there are two methods. One is the armature voltage control, and another is the field uh, current control method or uh, um, field flux uh, weakening method. So in first method of armature control, you can uh, if the rated uh, speed of that motor is let us say fourteen hundred and fourteen forty RPM, then you can control its speed from zero to fourteen hundred and forty. And uh, in case of field weakening. Fourteen hundred and forty above that, maybe up to twenty five hundred or so. So you can uh, control the speed uh, in these two ways, and uh, you can write um, in these you know, what is the flux control method. Draw the diagram, draw the characteristics, and uh, explain. Okay, um, in all these, so it may be a potential divider method. Uh, method. It may be a rheostatic control method. then um, it may be a applied voltage control method there are advantages disadvantages you have to explain in uh, this then for a dc series motor also you can uh, write the same answer um, what are the different speed control methods for dc shunt as well as dc series and dc separately excited so for dc series again there are Uh, both the methods are valid that is flux control and the armature voltage control so um, all these methods you can explain and for uh, dc separately excited dc motor it is the ward lenard method uh, which you can explain so that ward lenard method uh, that is two motors we are connecting um, in series one is acting as if it is a generator and uh, which is uh, um, varying the applied voltage to the motor uh, to uh, second is the motor connected so one is operating as a generator another is operating as a motor so in such a uh, cascade connections of two motors you can see that is the ward lenard system then what is the necessity of starter in dc motors explain three point starter and again next question may be what is the necessity of starter and explain four point starter so either three point or four point and what is the necessity of starter so dc motors are self start but still you require starter because the um, current which is uh, drawn at start it may be 10 to 15 times more than the uh, rated current or uh, no load speed current uh, so that's why uh, sorry full load current so that's why you need to control this uh, amount of current because the value of uh, resistance is uh, very low and uh, at start if uh, your uh, that um, s into e will be equal to the torque so at start your torque may be very high because s is one and e is the rated voltage so initial torque may be high and it may damage the Uh, mechanical damage the motor or uh, due to this uh, uh, heavy inrush of current the fluctuations may take place in the supply and which may cause the other devices which we are running parallelly with this uh, voltage source that uh, may I means their uh, uh, working may get affected so that is the necessity of starter and then you have to draw and explain the um diagrams of uh, three point starter as well as four point starter okay uh, you have to explain both uh, what is uh, nvc and uh, what is olr that is overload release coil and uh, no volt coil what are their functions that you have to explain in detail then um, what are the other uh, advantages or uh, circuits uh, available along with the Uh, modern uh, drives that you have to explain elaborate in the starters okay then state and explain various losses and power flow diagram of dc motor so you can explain uh, the copper losses iron losses or core losses and mechanical losses and uh, draw the power flow diagram uh, for that motor then uh, next question may be draw and explain the construction and working principle of permanent magnet dc motor 
draw its performance characteristics and state and explain various applications of permanent magnet dishing motors so this topic we have covered today only so in this you have to explain the construction and working principle of uh, permanent magnet motor how it differs from the conventional dc motor and uh, as its size is very small and uh, it is having uh, the advantages over uh, dc motor it is uh, used for uh, many small household and uh, practical applications like uh, uh, for cars uh, maybe windshield wipers raising and lowering the uh, windows of cars then uh, for a hard disk drive or uh, for um, yeah, um, uh, your uh, printers and all computer peripherals okay then uh, marine engine then electric fuel pumps wheel chairs toothbrush food mixer ice crusher toy industry like there so many uh, 